Apparently, Azriel has been writing letters to R. Kelly begging him to take her back, telling him how much she loves him and how much she needs him in her life. Tasha K spilled beans a couple of days ago. And of course, Team Lies had to come out and do damage control and they said, no, 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 she's not writing him now. She wrote those letters when she first left him last year in November in 2019. When she left, she wrote those letters. I say, uh, it doesn't matter when she wrote those letters. It doesn't matter if she wrote them today or if she wrote them after she left in 2019. What matters is that they were written. And if the attorneys present those letters in court, R. Kelly walks free because those letters prove that she genuinely loved R. Kelly and wanted to be in a relationship with him at some point. She doesn't love him now. And maybe she never loved him at all, but the lawyers can spin the narrative well, she was chasing R. Kelly. R. Kelly locked up in a federal jail and she's still trying to get back with him. He wasn't contacting her. She was contacting him. Think about it. If R. Kelly really held her hostage and beat her with a shoe and made her eat shit and made her do all these disgusting, degrading things, would she really be writing him letters begging to come back? No. No, she is lying and the lies are eating her up. She needs to come out and admit that she's lying. She's taking this too far. And I'm glad Tasha K called that girl out. Tasha K never liked these people. Tasha K never liked any of these people. She don't like R. Kelly. But she don't like these accusers either. And she's finally letting it be known that she thinks Azriel ain't shit and Azriel ain't going to be shit. And she said it. And I don't know how much clearer she can make it. Tasha K does not have any respect for any of these accusers. She was just pretending so that she could gain their trust, so that she could gain views on her channel because she was still up and coming back then. She was still an up and coming channel and um, she was trying to uh, get publicity for herself. So she, you know, used the accusers and pretended to be sympathetic, but she know damn well that they're whores. And we got to start calling a spade a spade. Azriel is not a victim of R. Kelly. She was a volunteer. She voluntarily spread her legs and she voluntarily had sex with him because she wanted to. She wanted to have sex with him. She wanted to be with him. And I know for a fact from a source directly close to R. Kelly, that R. Kelly tried to send her home after surviving R. Kelly. And she said, no, I'm going to commit suicide if you break up with me. I don't want to go home. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. So because she did all that crying and carrying on, he kept her around. And he didn't send her home. Which I have always felt that them hoes should have went home when the savages started making all of this commotion, everybody should have went home and he should have did a press conference saying, look, I wanted to be like Hugh Hefner and have a whole bunch of women. I care about these women, but to avoid any confusion, let me send them home. God bless them. I wish them the best for the future. I'm doing nothing illegal. That's what should have happened. But the girls cried and complained and said, oh, we don't want to leave. And then they chose to stay. And then now they come out here saying that they were held hostage just so that they can get book deals. It was, it, they played him. They played R. Kelly. They took advantage of his 
good, kind heart, but we can't go back, you know. We can't go back. We can't Monday morning quarterback. And hindsight is always 2020. There's always going to be free R. Kelly on my end because I've always known Azriel was a lying whore. I've always known all of these accusers are lying whores. Nobody got kidnapped. Nobody got tied up. Nobody got harmed in any way, shape, or form. R. Kelly may have been a bad boyfriend. He may have cheated. But being a bad boyfriend is not criminal. Lying to women is not criminal. Having multiple women and telling one woman one thing and telling another woman one thing so that they could fight each other, that's not criminal. All men do that. All men lie. <laughs> Regular men with no money and no status lie. So at the end of the day, a lot of people say, oh, well, he lied to them. He need to go to jail. All men lie. Women lie too. Lying is not criminal. Lying to your significant other is not criminal. These scorned women made up lies because they were angry at R. Kelly. But it's going to come out in court, you guys. It's going to get come out in court and R. Kelly is going to be vindicated. Azriel is out here writing R. Kelly letters, begging him to take her dirty ass back. And I can't wait until those letters are read in court. Anyway, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly.